All right, it's replay review time. Let's get this. Uh, I'm going to be focusing a lot on speed and just like my overall positioning and all that. So yeah, let's hop straight into it. Good 50 by me. That's hesitation there. I shouldn't be doing this. After this 50 happens, I either need to decide to stay on the ball or leave. I pick the middle option and yeah, I also use that boost there. So I'm lower boost for the next play. Not too bad though. I can pick up some pads here and I get the boost deal on them. I try to get a demo on that guy very close. Try to pressure there. Take a shot and it's in. That's very interesting. Actually, I should have been harder, but I mean, I guess it works. Go. Teammate definitely rushed that hit. Now I need to get back. You see there that I'm taking my time just because I know that his his aerial, like even if he hits it, which I could tell he wasn't hitting it just based off this jump, it's really low. Like even if he hits it, I can just deal with it. It's not really that big of a deal. And I could just meet the ball at the point of contact. Now that was a horrible touch by me. That's also bad. I think I pinched it with teammate. Not sure. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. You see how like I'm just like lurking here. I'm not really doing anything cuz I'm not positioning a second man, which I am here. Or yeah, like I should be positioning further back cuz it's definitely not my ball to go for. I have one boost and I, I know teammate has more boost than me cuz he just went up for the ball and that mid boost there. So and it'd be like, "Hey, let me grab some pads and reposition. So I should, after I grab this pad, this pad grab is good. I can either grab this mid boost if there's time, which there probably isn't because he has the ball like right away. So I could just grab a few pads like here and then prepare for whatever happens here instead of being super far upfield and having no boost. And I almost cut teammate off there. And I get bumped as well, which uh, screwed me up even more. Because now I'm in an even worse position and I have no boost to play with. Yeah, you see, now I've got to go back. And teammate actually needs that boost, which makes sense because he just had a play. So he needs to fill up on boost. And now I'm stuck with low boost for a good remainder. And I missed the boost grab there. That's really unfortunate. Good force by me. Teammate tries there. I think I just decided to stay on this ball. I fake challenge there. And now I'm actually going. I'm uh, not sure what that was by me, to be honest. Not sure why teammate went for this either, but I don't know why I double jumped. I should be back flipping into the ball there to get a better 50. We don't get scored on, fortunately, but that definitely should have been a goal. Good hit by teammate. Uh, I did rush his touch a little bit, but I just wanted to make sure that I did not get dunked here because teammates landing he has very low boost i need to make sure i buy time so just in case he went i just popped the ball up so should have taken my time though 50 by me i have to go back here yeah i i mean i could have i guess you could argue that i could just go straight back to net but like this shot is so fast that i'm not gonna be able to influence the play so like it's kind of like well I can't really do anything if I go straight back to net. So let me just grab boost to try to influence the next play after that. That's why I grabbed the boost there. I don't think it was too bad. See my teammate there. And you can see how your positioning affects your speed. Because right here after teammate does this, which I don't even have to go back like down from, from the wall here, but I do. But you can see I'm like creeping forward here, right? Like I'm just like driving for no reason and watching the ball. If I was here instead, look what happens. 50? Oh, I'm right up to get it, right? I have a much better angle, but I'm like sitting under the ball here, kind of. And now it's directly up as opposed to me having an angle on the ball to challenge. And I get beat here. I should not be getting beat to this. It's closer to me, which means I should be getting a free hit there. Good 50 by teammate. Take this to the corner. I popped that out immediately because I saw he was going. 
Not sure what that was by teammate, but it's not a replay review over him. It's a replay review over my game play. So uh, here, I need it. like after after this, you know, this play happens or whatever. I shouldn't be challenging here because teammate used his boost to bump me, so he needs to go back for boost. And I also can see him with my camera here, right here that he's or no, not there right here when I flick it, that he's going back for boost. So what I can do instead here is fake challenge, right? Like like boost, and then he hits it, right? And I drive back, grab these pads. I could be at like 50, 60 boost, and then prepare for whatever happens next. Like he he already flicks, you can also see that he already flicks the ball. Like I'm not even challenged yet, he flicks it early. So I, I didn't need to go for that to make him go. And then teammate gets scored on there. You definitely got time your challenges. You don't want to rush everything, but you also want to apply pressure. So, you know, 2v2 is a game of balance, you know, like definitely got a definitely like the most dynamic and like, I don't know. I don't know the, the word, but it's definitely like, I guess like fl the most fluid out of all the game modes. Uh, This, this is bad, really bad by me here. After this happens and then the shot happens. I hit the ball to myself. I'm turning because if Beanbag goes for this and he hits it past me for like nothing, then teammate's going to be in a really bad position because the other guy could bump him or whatever. But you could see here from a mile away that he is not going for this ball and I can take my time and get a better shot. Or I actually don't even get a shot. I could actually get a shot on net by just taking my time there. That's just an awareness thing, you know? Like, I'm not watching the opponent. I'm watching the ball. And that's really bad, because then you don't know what's happening. This, this little drive up by me is really bad. So, last final misses the ball, which is good for us. But I can't take advantage of the miss here, because I'm 25 boost, and I'm facing backwards. Right? Like, like this little pit stop here. What if, what if the, the, the Fennec guy, what if he just slams the ball like clears the ball to our net we're probably getting scored on right like i'm not able to defend a long shot and like i don't know what driving forward even does here it just makes him shoot early and then puts me in a horrible position to make a save like it's really dumb here i just i mean you should probably just grab the boost and then prepare because i mean teammates also going back so then he can influence the play instead of me i'm too far away to do anything and i shouldn't be like pushing up when there's a long shot looming, but he actually doesn't shoot it. We get really lucky there. That's just, I mean, either me or teammate can go up for this. I should have heard him jump and went back down there. Missed the pad there, unfortunate. Yeah. I could have been on like 48 boost here. I just grabbed both those pads. Unfortunate. Now teammates actually going to have no boost. Oh, I actually decided to go for the ball here instead of going for boost, which is good. I thought I was just going to get beat there, though. Actually, let's see. Let's see. I think, honestly, if he just touches the ball, like, right away, he can beat me for free. He actually ends up faking me, but, yeah, I don't even know if I should be going for this. Let's see. Yeah, if he hits it, like, to the wall, he hits it past me for free. So I don't think I should be going for this. I honestly think I should just grab the boost here. Like fake a challenge and then grab the boost. But I also could have just hit the ball there. I, I didn't have to get faked. I faked myself out pretty much. And they get, they capitalize off it. Alright, now I just need to grab some pads here. 48 boost. Now I can actually influence the next play. 50 by me. We're not going to be able to take advantage of it though. Let me grab some pads. Yep. Alright. The second half of this game has gone a lot better than the first half. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I don't even remember this game. I think I recorded it though. Yep. So these, these pad grabs, very good by me. The, this this little boost, like I don't know why I, I just like using like 12 boost for no reason. Like this this boosting does absolutely nothing for me here i could have just 
waited or like wave dash to build up speed, but whatever. I get close to the ball and I whiff. <laughs> Not much you could say about that except don't whiff, right? That's the only piece of advice you could give. Uh, so here, I'm betting that last final is going to dem demo my teammate. But even then, I need to grab some fucking pads, man. Wait, wait, watch this. So this flip. Got all these pads, man. Boop, boop, boop. 36 boost. Teammate gets demoed. Oh, I'm here. Or if teammate doesn't get demoed, right? Avoid the bump. I could probably grab that boost with my 36 boost. I probably could outsped him and grab the boost. But it said I'm at 12 boost and uh, can't do anything. <laughs> Because he still seals my next boost. And now I'm at zero boost. Oh boy. Terrible 50 by me. But I mean that's because I had zero boost. I need to manage my boost better there. So this is also another example of me just turning early. I also missed a pad. Uh, yeah, you don't want to turn early if you can't hit the ball. I'm too far away to challenge here. Uh, that's that's why turning here is bad because last final could beat me for free and i'm not forcing anything because he's gonna shoot it anyways so me going is not doing anything but also like you can see now that i'm driving forward and and turn it trying to turn now that i realize oh he's beating me to the ball i have to make a pit stop and i'm flat-footed and yeah i double commit with my teammate because i don't know what's happening and now i'm on lower boost for the next play he made a good job to buy time to grab me uh, for me to grab some pads, but yeah, that was a stupid challenge. I shouldn't have done that. Or actually, I could have, but the challenge should have been better. Yeah, that challenge should have been way better. You can see how, how, how all these things build up, you know? Like, you waste like 20 boosts on this play, and you're 20 less boost for the next play, you make a bad touch, your team's on defense for the next minute, you get scored on, you know? Like, these things add up. Especially boost. Like, boost is a really important factor, especially as you get higher up in rank. Boost is, like, very, very important. So I'm just trying to dive challenge there. I actually end up bumping my teammate here. Yeah, it's a horrible sequence of events. So I end up bumping my teammate here, but I should not be taking the next 50 here because, well, after this play, I should just be heading out, but I wanted that mid boost and teammate ended up grabbing it. But after I see that happen, I needed it. I, I can't, I can't take this 50 because when you want, when you take 50s, you're supposed to be goal side, right? Like covering net. So like probably here is a good, good angle to challenge the, and get a 50 on him, right? So I'm not goal side, first of all. Second of all, I have no boost. So after I get the 50, I can't follow up on whatever happens. And I'll have no momentum to get back into play. And third of all, I have no momentum here. He has way more momentum. All three things lead to him destroying me on the 50. Yeah, should not be taking that 50 there. Just go back. You know, just realize, hey, I, I can't influence the play well here. So... Just gotta go back, you know? Accept defeat of the play. That's good by me. I should have had a much better air dribble there. I think I was worried about somebody challenging me here, but I had a lot of time. I also, yeah, that first touch is just horrible. This is why mechanics are important, because I could have taken advantage of their weak defensive positioning here. Said I gotta do some like weird little pass to my teammate. And we end up losing the game here because of that. Try another pass to teammate, but yeah, it gets shut down again. And that is game. Well, not yet, but when does the ball die? I forgot. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Yeah, that's game. All right, let's move on to the second game. Here we go. Second game. Uh, For replay reviews, I'm going to pick like Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, we don't count that goal. But for replay reviews, I'm going to pick like for the first game, I'm going to pick a game that I do like kind of pour in, you know, and then like it really emphasizes what I need to improve on. 
and then the second game i want to sh like show how i improve in that aspect or a little bit you know so yeah those two kickoff goals are just kickoff stuff uh not very co uh, constructive but yeah not very important all right so here i probably should have went back after after this play because i hear my teammate boosting and then I, now i can see him in the corner after i see this oh go back half flip right got this big boost and then just wait for whatever happens here it's just again two two big things i'm seeing is speed actually three speed positioning and awareness which i guess speed and positioning kind of tie in together but yeah, you can see here I'm, we're all I'm double committing with teammate again. It's just awareness issue. So that pre jump is just a force the uh, next play or whatever happens. I actually waste a lot of boost here. You can see the, that those little taps of boost are very unnecessary. After this happens, right? That that boost, sure, whatever, right? And then I can land with 38, grab a few pads, right? I'll be at 62, but now I'm at 31 instead of 62. We don't get punished because of that but you, you never want to be on lower boost like if, if given a like chance to have more boost you want to have more boost you know what I'm saying that was just a horrible touch by me I just again I'm just assuming that he's going for the ball but I don't need to assume I need to read what what happens and it should be very easy for me to read that he's going back because you can see that again Long ways away. You can see that his car is facing backwards from here. I don't need to hit this. I could just drive down from the wall. But yeah, I end up passing it and passing it to them and they score off of it. Kick off stuff. I remember this. I just completely whiffed the ball. Again, uh, you can't really go over mechanical misplays other than hey, I need to not whiff there, or hey, I need to work on that, but it's not very constructive, you know, it, you can really only go over, like, game sense stuff in replay reviews, so yeah, it's not, yeah. Obviously, I need to be hitting the ball there. So here, it's not my fault, but I just want to go over this. Te teammate needs to do more here. Like, I can see that he wants to do something, and he should, because... Uh, you don't want to go back for no reason, right? Like, if you're going back, it should be for a reason. Everything you do in Rocket League has to be for a reason, right? But here, he can just go before me and make the play a lot easier, which is what he's trying to do because he's rotating in front of me, but then he just does nothing there. And he didn't get a good shot of it, but yeah, you, if you're going like that close, you need to do something. You can't just like sit there and do nothing, you know? Again, that was another like double commit. Well, actually, I bumped teammate, so I guess not really a double commit, but yeah, that's just awareness thing again. Shot by teammate. It's just a back wall thing. I think he could have defended it better, but it's whatever. Again, you can see here that my air dribble is not very good. Like, I should be making a slight touch there to myself, flip reset. And it should be goal every single time, right? Or like at least a threatening shot, but I mess up my touch. But that's not a thing you go over in replay review because you can't do anything. You can just say, all you can say is, hey, I just have scored that. You know, <laughs> it's not. Again, just yeah, can't go over mechanical stuff on uh, replay reviews. Good hit by teammate. Now I'm going to try to control the ball. I actually... Wow, that was really bad. Yeah, that's... Again, oops. I did not mean to do that. That's just a misplay. I need to touch the ball softer there to myself. I am able to cover net though, but... Yeah, that definitely should not be happening. Again, I need to realize that my team is going for this. I can hear him driving and then boosting so i need to just not go for that <laughs> it's yeah i i don't know why i like double committed with teammate like five times this game is was not really necessary at all uh here 
this is awareness issue again. Like I don't realize that he's not going until it's too late, right? And then I panic. But it doesn't even matter because it gets hit to me anyways, but I should have got a better shot here. This is really easy to get past. All you do, right? You set you set your base right here and then you pop it high because he can't cover high. Right? He can only cover low again. You can see how low his challenge is, right? All I have to do here is land, right? Hope I seem challenging. Pop high and it's a goal. Or just to the side, I guess. I popped it straight to him, so that's why that wasn't a goal. You see here, after I land, I use boost for no reason. Don't need to use boost here. Yes, you want to get back fast, but you can see here that teammate has the ball. We don't need to get back that fast. Pad, flip, pad, pad, or if teammate takes the ball here, you obviously want to get behind him, so I guess pad, 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 or whatever, you know? But yeah, that boost did not have to be wasted. That was really bad by me. Again, this is an example of what not to do is do nothing. Kind of what teammate did on the first uh, or one of the first plays where he just like drove near the ball and did nothing. This is what I did here. I need to do something. I can see right here that he wants to hit the ball. All I have to do is drive and pop it past him, right? I could have popped it past him like like half a second before this and he would have been in the corner. We could have had a counterattack, but said I just go late for some reason and now we're on defense. It really should have been a goal here. I don't think it was. That double commit is not as bad as the other ones because we're in a panicky defense play. So yeah, it's not not as bad as the other one. Um, this is not very smart. Let me let me see. So honestly, I could have just flipped for the boost here. Could I? No. Well, as soon as I even jump, I can flip for the boost. Because if he takes it on the ground, then I have to challenge. But as soon as I see him jump, I can just flip for the boost here. I didn't flip for the boost because I thought he'd grab it. So uh, after I can see that he's going for the ball, I need to grab the boost and get out here. Because this, although I do, like, I guess affect the play instant, like instantly, it's not very helpful for the following plays. And you can see. Indecisive has a free 1v1 with teammate. He doesn't realize it and hits the ball to the sidewall. But yeah, this could have been really bad. You don't, you usually do not want to go for the ball on like 12, 24 boost. Because uh, you're going to have a really bad recovery for the next play. And you don't want that. You always want to be at like 20, 30 boost, right? That's, that's why that play was bad. I did not have to jump up there. I don't know why I did, to be honest. Like I knew the shot was over. I don't know why I jumped. It might be a ping issue too, because I do play on a. That was okay. That was not a ping issue. That's uh. Yeah, that's just me. Uh, I I either have to, like, play the miss or not play the miss. I'm picking like the in between option. If I play the miss, I need to be boosting a lot faster. Because I need to cover it just in case he went, which he did go. But I'm too far back and I get beat there. Right? Or I just trust my teammate to hit the ball. Right? And just like grab this pad, grab this pad follow up. Right? And if this hap if I uh, chose this route, as soon as I see him miss the ball, I turn around and save the shot. Right? But I pick the middle option here and I got beat to the ball. Oh, yeah. Like, like I was saying, the double commits. Uh, might be a ping issue because I do play on 80 ping, but I'm used to 80 ping, so I sh I'm don't think it's a ping issue. I think it's an awareness issue. Uh, right here, I do end up scoring this because he misses, but right there, or actually, not even right there, maybe like probably like a half second before, right? Like, let me try to time it right here, right? I either need to jump right now or not jump at all. Right? Because, because if you're going, you need to go as fast as possible to have the like, best impact on the play. 
But you see here that I hesitate. This is horrible because it's like picking the middle option between going back and going for the ball, right? You never want to pick the middle option. You want to pick one option, stay with it, right? Because if I if I had went, uh, that's not the right button. Like if I had went as soon as he hit the ball, right? I probably could have beat him to it. Let me see. Uh, I, if he if he had a better aerial, I could have. I think I could have beat him or just grabbed a fifty, right? So going up was a good option, but. If I hesitate here, I need to just go back because, I, again, you can't pick the middle option here. And if you hesitate, you have to default to going back because otherwise you're going to get beat. Yeah, but he ends up missing and we score off it. I think this last minute was a lot better for me because I like realized what was the mistakes I was making during the rank session and I played a lot better. Like that touch is very good. So here, I'm just floating until he goes for the ball here, right? And as soon as I see him go for the ball, I have to hit this. I have to make an impact on the play, right? Like, let's say I do what I did before, right? And I'm just like floating here for no reason, right? I'm just floating, floating, right? Just floating here. He gets a free ball, right? You probably pop this up and air dribble on my teammate. It's a pretty long air dribble, so he probably wouldn't have scored. But again, you have to make an impact on the play. If, if you're going for the ball, like you can't just do nothing because you got to help your teammate out. Good bump by me. Now I just need to grab some pads here. There we go. Look at that. And look at that. That touch wasn't great. You know, definitely should have been on target or I probably could have got a double tap there, honestly, if I uh, took off a little bit more to the right. But you could see there how grabbing pads, you know, staying relevant is better than not. And look at that. Look at me influence the, influencing the play there. We don't get a goal off of it, but we got a lot of pressure. There we go. See? Told you guys I improved a little bit. I back pass it to my teammate so we can keep pressure. That was really weird. I don't know why I didn't power slide here. I kind of have a bad habit of not power sliding off landing sometimes. Okay. So... Going for this is okay, honestly. I, I think that even if he shot it right away, I could have had it. Because, yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm gauging like the distance and speed. I think that going for this is, is like, you can probably cover the shot, right? But here, I, I need to be covering the shot more than like him, his air dribble because the shot is more threatening. So I need to be uh, floating higher here. But also here, you can see that I'm tilting my car down, which is really bad because, like, you can see here. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, hold up. Yeah. Here, he could just boost and hit this past me. I need to be tilting my car up so I can have as much, like, the highest probability of hitting the ball. Like, yes, I do hit it by tilting my car down, but... You never want to take a chance on that because if if he had beat me, he would have played it over me for free. Teammate would have been in a rough position and we could have got scored on. So just another thing to think about. That was really dumb. <laughs> yeah, you can you can see here again, it's just an awareness thing. Right, like I have to be able to gauge his distance and be like, oh, I can't go for the ball here, right? Use that flip as a wave dash, drive back down. I could even grab this boost if I wanted to, or grab some pads and then be like 60 boost behind my teammate. Then I like go for it for some reason. And yeah, you can see how difficult of a position teammates, you know, is in, but they don't score off of it. But yeah, you can see how like th this, this stupid shit. Or like, like how everything like impacts the following play, and like it just builds up, you know. So there, I don't get the flick, but uh, I'm staying behind the ball here, and like I hear him going, which is good. And then I, f I attempt to flick it, I miss, but this is good, very good by me. That I, I that I realized that I'm getting demo chased. I need to make an impact on the play. I can't just dribble it and have him 50 me 
and then do nothing with it, you know? Um, so after I let land here, I need to be going for pads. Like here. Okay, first of all, this, this boost needs to be pointing to the right, not to the left. I'm pointing to the left because I want that big boost, but I should be grabbing pads and going back. Because it's faster. Uh, so yeah, definitely do not go for big boost here. If, if teammate got a demo, that's a 3-4 or 4-5 game. And, you know, we could have a possibility of losing. So, yeah, overall, pretty 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 good games. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely be working on that, that. The speed and positioning and just wasting boost. And something I didn't really think I was messing up on, but I'm seeing it a lot, is awareness. So, yeah, I'll be sure to work on that in the following videos. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.